Did you know that fall from heights has been one of the leading causes for workplace injuries and death for the past few years? You can get hurt or even killed if falling from heights hazards are not properly managed in your workplace. The Workplace Safety and Health Work at Heights Regulations, enacted on 1st of May 2013, consolidates Work at Heights requirements residing in different parts of our legislation for easy reference. The new law from its enactment initially applies to all factories as defined under the Workplace Safety and Health Act of 2006. On and after 1st of May 2014, the coverage will extend to all workplaces. Hence, it is therefore critical to understand these requirements to help ensure safe working at heights in the workplace. First of all, what is work at heights? It is any work scenario that poses a potential risk of injury to workers through falling. This can happen when the site has an elevated workplace, at unprotected edges, where there is a floor opening, on fragile surfaces, or in any other place from which a person could fall. Key general provisions of this regulation include the avoidance of work at heights, requirements for open sites and openings, travel restraint and fall arrest systems, work on roofs and fragile surfaces, and the industrial rope assess system. Under the WSH Work at Heights Regulations, the Fall Prevention Plan FPP, and Permit to Work PTW system will need to be implemented. So what is a Fall Prevention Plan? A fall prevention plan is a site-specific plan prepared to reduce or eliminate the risk of falls. As stated within the approved Code of Practice for Working Safely at Heights, a fall prevention plan is made up of 10 components to help address the falling from height hazards comprehensively. The occupier is required to implement the fall prevention plan or FPP for workplaces listed in the schedule of the Workplace Safety and Health Work at Heights regulations. These workplaces include work sites, shipyards, petrochemical plants, and factories other than those listed in which 50 or more persons are employed. A key component of the FPP is risk management. Under risk management, appropriate control methods have to be implemented in preference to first eliminate, if not reduce the risk of falling from heights. This principle is also known as WSH Hierarchy of Control. The most effective risk control measure is avoidance of work at heights or elimination. This removes all possible risk of falling. The second most effective measure is substitution. This involves replacing the hazard with one that presents a lower risk. Next is engineering control. This entails structural changes like erecting barriers to prevent the worker from falling. There are also administrative controls. They cover work procedures that limit the frequency and duration of exposure to hazards and the number of persons involved in the task. Lastly, use the correct and fitted personal protective equipment, which may include a travel restraint system or fall arrest system. What is the permit to work system? The Permit to Work system is a formal documented process used to manage workplace hazards. A Permit to Work system is required when a worker can fall a distance of more than 3 meters measured from the feet level to the ground or surface below. The Permit to Work system workflow starts from application to evaluation to approval to task completion. This system requires various levels of checks. The duty holder implementing the Permit to Work system will have to ensure that all key personnel have sufficient experience and training to carry out their duties. Please refer to the approved Code of Practice for Working Safely at Heights for guidance to implement the Fall Prevention Plan and Permit to Work system. For more information, please visit the Workplace Safety and Health Council website at wshc.sg.